My name is Chita Scott Martinez. And I'm Esquali Roscoe Martinez. And we are from Boulder, Colorado. I've been an environmental activist since I was six years old. And we both perform environmental hip hop. And we are both working to inspire and empower youth all around the globe and build a worldwide youth led movement um, through our performance and our speaking. Earth Guardians is a youth-led organization that has been going since um, 1992 in Maui, Hawaii, and we brought it here to Colorado. And I started up the third generation of Earth Guardians, I think, uh, 2008 or 2009. And so, you know, we go to the city council meetings with a group of kids, and we educate people about different issues that are happening in our community that are really affecting the people, that are affecting the young people. And we do events and rallies and protests, and we have um, a few presentations that we give in schools, because one thing that we really believe is that, you know, as young people, we also have to educate people, not only taking actions, but really spreading it to the rest of the world. You know, to a certain extent, adults will listen to young people better than other adults, you know. Parents and adults, they will fight for their children. And when it is young people raising awareness and bringing up these issues, that, that you know, that their hearts are so pure, you know, they, they're not in it for the money or for the power or for anything like that, and they're not influenced by anything. We also perform, like, yeah, everywhere we go, he he has a speech, and then we perform. And I I personally think that performing is really powerful. I mean, kids in my age and every age, I think that just get bored. You can't just be talking the whole time. Talking is powerful, but I think performing can really help. young people don't really believe that they can have the power to do anything until after they graduate from college and get a job and a lot of kids think not until then will we actually make a difference but you know what we're trying to spread to the kids in their schools and their everyday lives is that you know we have to start making a difference now otherwise there isn't going to be a world to grow up in. Every issue that is happening right now is building up to something. It is building up to the world that we will be left with but also all over the planet there's amazing things that are happening. That's why I think it's very very powerful to really connect all these amazing things because people are doing incredible projects on all different levels all around the world and I think one thing that is not happening at this point is that we're not connecting all these different issues realizing that they're all connected and we are not connecting all the solutions that people are coming up with in their groups and you know I think once we find that connectedness and realize that you know we are not separate 
you know, what, what we do to each other and we do to the web. They are just incredible. They are very, very special children with a gift of wisdom far beyond their years and a gift of awareness and sensitivity and passion. It's just really, really amazing. Shatescott is 13. The first time he spoke at a rally for Earth Day here in Boulder, he was six years old. And he blew everybody away. And everybody was so deeply touched by him and just absolutely stunned. And he has continued on that path. And he is just so passionate and adamant about protecting the earth and protecting the animals and making sure that humans treat each other well and that everybody is respected. Um, he is so respectful of his elders, of his parents, of his friends, of the earth, of all animals. And Iskotli, his little brother, oh my goodness, they're just such a joy to be around and they are just really very soulful children. And I would say if there was anything that would convince me of reincarnation, it would be these two children having lived before many lifetimes. They are very, very wise and old souls. As an indigenous person, you know, I'm not going to try to be part of society. I'm going to try to change our society because, you know, at this point it's not working. Our consumerist society, that's, that's one huge thing that has contributed to getting us to this point that we are in right now. And I don't know, just really educating, inspiring people, showing them that, you know, we don't have to be like this, you know. You know, just because the TV tells us so, you know, we don't have to have a bigger house or a bigger car or, you know, a swimming pool in our backyard. That's not what makes us successful in life. And being an indigenous young person and being in the ceremonies, I think that's very, very inspiring, very, very powerful, you know. In a sense, you know, it gives me a lot of experiences that I'm really honored to have and that a lot of other young people wouldn't have, you know. I do spiritual runs and TP ceremonies and the Aztec dance, and for me it's a really great honor to be part of this culture, to be part of this tradition, you know, keeping this Aztec tradition, this ancient culture, you know, alive for so long. And, and I don't know, it's just very, very powerful, you know spreading the message of, you know, just simplicity and, and living with less. And, um, one of the things that, you know, I'll always remember about my dad is he always tells me about how his life was so simple. You know, as, as a kid, as growing up on, on a farm or in the city, moving around everywhere and, you know, always just being present, you know, being happy wherever he was and how he always found adventures in the simplest places. And, you know, that's something that I'm going to remember for him for about forever. It's going to be one of my greatest life lessons that, you know, just find true happiness wherever you are, and that's what will bring true happiness to your life. <laughs>